Let's go to a more complex example that is going to require to install several plugins and also use a configuration value. I'm going to click here to get to the CK Editor website. I'm going to click on the add a plugin here. So I want to install a plugin called Auto Embed. I'm going to download it. You can see here it tells you what it requires. This is not always complete. It depends. For instance, in this case, you will see that something is missing that we will need. Okay, so. Perfect, perfect. I need Autolink that we installed uh, in the first tutorial, so it's okay. We need Undo that is already installed, so no problem here. I'm gonna give it a name. I'm leaving the version number and everything for now. So what is missing is this plugin actually requires another plugin that's very important to work. either. Media embed here or semantic media embed? It it says so here. So I, I don't know why they didn't list it in the requirements because it doesn't really work without it. So you need to go get those. So we're gonna get this one. And let's download it. Now the first one was saved. I'm adding the second one, the embed that uh, embed that we just uh, downloaded now. Ah, this one requires embed base, and it's in red, meaning it's not installed, it's not active. We need to go get it. So if I click on it, it will take me directly to the download page on CK Editor's website, where then I can download it. So that's you know, very useful. No need to waste time looking. I'm going to download it. Embed base. Okay. Uh, I enable this one. Finish getting the fields. Okay. And I'm saving it. Now, you will see that when I go back to the list, it will indicate that this one is actually not totally ready to work. See in my list, it says here dependencies, some dependencies for this plugin are missing. So you know, one glance, exactly what's going on and what's happening. So I'm going to add the second one that we just uh, downloaded, the base. So as you can see, a lot of plugins that we, you will download from CK Editor's website are already built the way they're supposed to. Uh, so when you upload them, you will not have many problems. And I activate it. Yes. And we see we have another missing one here, notification aggregator. This one is here already. That's a core plugin, core plugin. They both active, no problem. So I'm saving this. And then once it's saved, I'm going to go get again this one that's missing. Like I said, this is a more complex example because it requires several plugins to make that one plugin work. And fortunately, the system is smart enough that it tells you what you need, how to get it. And like that, at least you don't uh, waste time trying to figure it out on your own. See, I plug in earlier that needed embed base is green now, but this one now has a red sign because it needs the one we just downloaded, the notification aggregator. And this one requires another one too. See, it's never over. So let's open the page. Let's call this one. Here we go, let's enable it, make it available to everybody. You notice that every time I don't bother with the 
version number, plugin extra, because I'm trying to go uh, faster so at the plugin. Okay, so now I need to install this one. It's here. I download it. It's telling me something is missing. Ah, and this one only has one dependency that is already installed and active, so no problem. Name. Enable it. And add the plugin. And now we're almost ready. We're missing one thing that's actually pretty important because it will not work without that. I believe it's the this one, the embed one. This plugin, let's go to its page there. I'm gonna look for the auto embed that I looked for earlier. Here. And this one required. So what happens is this one actually requires configuration. See, it says it's using a framely extra, extra. You know, it requires setting your AP key extra. So we're gonna go to the documentation. And in the doc, it's gonna explain to you uh, that you need a configuration key, which is here, this one. Okay, so it, it, it's telling you basically that you need a, a configuration, a provider for the embed, and that by default in a new version, it's not set anymore, so you have to set it, and they give you an example, and you can use this example directly. So see, it shows you config dot, the name of the configuration equal, and the value. So just copy this, and come back here, and, we're in the right plugin right there, and we're just gonna paste it here. So, exactly like this. You can remove the config and the dot if you want, or leave it. You can have spaces between the equal sign and the stuff, or not. It doesn't matter. What matters is you have the name, the key for the configuration, equal, and the value. And sometimes you have more than one, so you have to put one per line. You go to a new line, and you paste the second one. New line, or third one, if you have more than one. Else, you do it like this. So once we have this, I'm gonna update. So what the, this thing does is, you can now paste uh, URLs for different resources, like Google Maps, YouTube video, Vimeo videos, and a lot of things. The list is very, very, very long. And it will tell you, uh, it will convert it instantly into a resource in your editor. So let's try what happens with uh, a YouTube video. Copy. I'm going to my content block. I'm reloading the page to make sure the, uh, the plugins are, are loaded. Okay, so this plugin doesn't have a button on the toolbar this time. Uh, if you remember, our math editor had one, but this one is auto embed, so it doesn't really have one. Uh, this is the media embed, so like if you click on this one, you can put the URL here. But because we installed the auto embed plugin earlier, uh, now you can just I can just paste my YouTube link here, URL. Here, okay. And automatically, here's the video. Now I can save.
publish. And here it is, ready to play directly in your content. And depending on the provider you use, well, you can have hundreds of things you can do this. I think you can have uh, images from Flickr and, uh, and Google, and you can have uh, sounds from SoundCloud and long list. You go look at the doc, they'll tell you everything you can do with this. It's pretty good. Music